All right, what's up, guys? It's Zephyas Vescor here, the Soul Laner for Day to Gaming. Today we will be going over the builds for Assassins. Uh, last week we did Warriors, we just did Guardians, and now we're gonna be doing Assassins. So a double video in one day. So almost all of these guys are relatively viable, and by relatively, I mean very relatively. Ratatoskr. This guy is only viable because he's OP. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I want that. You're gonna want two health pots, two mana pots, and you're gonna be thinking that this is stupid. It's not. Because if you do this, you'll get your boots on like the first or second wave in solo. So you get your boots super early. Like your boots on this god are your Agorn of Yggdrasil. We'll be getting that. Then you will want your. Here, we'll just put that in the build. Acorn. You will want Jotuns, you will want Titans, then you can go Breastplate, you can go Bulwark. So these are mandatory pretty much. After this, situational, as always. I mean, okay, everything is situational. If you're really far behind as Rat somehow, you can flip Breastplate or Bulwark in earlier, or same thing with Genji's. You can also get more pen. You can get Transcendence, which is really good on a rat, earlier on. If you're looking to build Transcendence, you're going to want it really early. You can do Trans. You can do Brawlers. Not bad. You basically just want to get a lot of power and a lot of penetration on rat. You can do Frostbound. I don't think it's that valuable, but you could do it. Void Shield's pretty good on rat. Um, don't get it. Don't get these except for Wingblade. And that's pretty much it. Item pool for rat. These are pretty much mandatory. These four. Not so much trans, but I'd say void shield's more mandatory than transcendence. But there you go. Start with your. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, 80. 50 times two. Okay, start with your three. Put a point to your two. One, three, ult. Three, three, uh, one, ult, three, one, one, ult, one, two, two, ult, two, two, ult. That's your ability build for Rat. This is your general item pool. Have fun. He's really easy to play. He's really fun to play. I like Rat. He's fun. Arachne. Arachne's not super viable, but you can do it. I recommend against it. You get throwing dagger, you'll get two health pots, and you'll get a mana pot. That's it, she needs it for the clear. She has to have that. Afterwards, you're gonna get boots, get your warrior tobbies, then you'll get. You can get Jotuns. Don't get Fatalis on Arachne, please don't get Fatalis on Arachne. You get it for free on your three. Do not get Fatalis. You can get Chins, which are really good on her. You can get Aussie. You don't need to, because... The thing is, is that your 1 gives insane healing if you max it, which you probably should. Your 1 gives crazy healing. So you don't need Aussie, but if you want to cheese it and get a shit ton of healing, get Aussie. Uh, you will want Titans as well. You're also going to be in the front line a lot, so you'll want Breastplate and Bulwark. Or Genji's. It's your call. Genji's. <laughs> um, what else? You can get Ikaval. Ikaval's pretty good on Arachne, but it, del it just delays your build. More than anything. I wouldn't get Frostbound. You don't need it. <gasps> That's pretty much it. That's your general item pool for Arachne. Start with your three. Then get your one. Get your two. Max your one. Alt. One, one. And then either two or three. I prefer the two just because it gives you the attack speed steroid, but that's me. Actually, we're going to clear that. Place out the one. And the two, 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 three, 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 three. Alt, 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 alt. The reason why you don't max the ult on Arachne is because I think it just 
yeah, it just increases the damage. And generally, you're going to be using your ultimate to escape, so there's no point in increasing the damage on your ultimate. That's your abilities. This is your item pool. Pick and choose, whatever. Go crazy. Arachne is a risky solo, but she's very fun. Um, Baka. I think we actually did a Baka build already last week. But if you do do Baka, same thing as Arachne. Throwing dagger, two health pots, mana pot. Warrior tobbies. Then you'll get... Fatalis. Chins. Then you can get Titans. That's pretty much, that's not going to change. Those are your items. That's, like, you build that. You have to build that. You can get Void Shield. You can get... Stone Cutting is really good. So, like, I'm just going to mark what's, like, pretty much required. Um, if you're really far ahead, you can get Crit. I recommend against it, but you can. I think he does a lot better with Pen, but that's, that's just me. Um... You won't really be building any defense, because it just lowers your damage. Um, I wouldn't get lifesteal. You can. So I'm just going to put it in the build in case you want it, but I wouldn't recommend it. There's no real need for it, in my opinion. Uh, attack speed. Here it is. Obo. Um, these are pretty much your... This is your item pool, then you can get Oboe, Aussie, Void Shield, Wind Demon, Deathbringer, pick and choose, but these three are your core that you'll be building every time. Sometimes you'll get Titans, sometimes you'll just go straight into crit, sometimes you'll get stone cutting, sometimes you won't. It's always different. That's the thing about solo, is it's always different. Start with your two, then your three, then your one, then your three. Th three, alt, three, three, two, three, two, 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 one, 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 alt, 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 alt. The reason that you that you only put one point into your alt is because the slow isn't really needed. Fifteen percent scaling up to thirty-five percent isn't a huge slow, and it's really not worth it, in my opinion, to put points into the ultimate because, like. It's just not really, I don't know, it's not worth it, in my opinion, because you, you'll already have Fatalis by the, by the time that you want to be fighting, so you don't really need the slow to be potent. By the time you'll be getting Fatalis, you'll be around this little area, and having a 20% slow won't be needed because you'll have the extra movement speed on top of Fatalis with boots, as well as the Fatalis passive. No point in getting points into the ultimate. That's it. This is your ability leveling. These are your items. Have fun. I would not do this. I really would not do this. But. Throwing dagger. Pots. Or. And this is a big or. Death's toll. Boots. Pots. And you'll be getting five and three. Either one, either start works. It's your call. If you're against someone that has a lot of clear, but also a lot of early game pressure, I would get Death's Toll. Or if they don't have a lot of clear. Actually, okay. I'm going to leave this up to you. You can really do either build. Either one is like viable in, in the sense of Kali solo being viable. Like. If we're going to do Kali Solo, do one of these two starts. You could... Mm, we're going to replace this with Bluestone. Because Bluestone coupled with a bleed on Kali's Lash is really strong. So, one of these two starts. Then you'll want to go... Bore your Tabi? Don't... Do not get Ninja Tabis. It just kills your DPS in the early game. It kills it, and you already have low DPS in the early game. It also hurts your clear more than you really need it to be hurt. So, after Fatalis and Chins, your build is pretty much stone cutting, 
Then you'll want Titans. Then you'll want Odysseus bow. And that's pretty much it. Like, you can get Aussie. I don't like Aussie because, I mean, you have your ultimate. You have your one for healing. You have your passive. You'll pretty much be fine. You're, someone on your team is going to be picking up Meditation. You can get Void Shield as well. Why does it keep going to the defensive? I don't want defensive. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you won't really want anything else. The, this is your item pool for Kali. Basically the same build that you would take her into the jungle with. Her abilities are 2, then your 3, then your 1, 2, ult, 2, 2, 3. Okay, this is where it gets different. It's up to you if you want to level the ultimate or not, because it scales the duration. It's up to you. I would wait because the extra 0.25 seconds for every point in it isn't really going to help until the late game, where that 0.25 seconds will be the difference between a kill and not getting a kill. I wouldn't level the ultimate, so I'm going to skip that. This is what you'll want to be leveling, just like this in general. Say so max are 2, 3, 1, 3 because of that power buff. That steroid is huge. Because if you go this build, you'll notice that you don't have a lot of power late game. 160. That is a lot of power, but it's also not a lot of power. If you add 50 onto that, that brings you up to a whole 210 power. That's really fucking good. These are your abilities. This is your build. You can fit in a void shield somewhere. If you're going to cut anything out, I would cut out Odysseus bow. But, your call. Loki. Don't play Loki. Please don't play Loki. But, my job is not to hate Loki. My job is to help players. Even if they want to play Loki. Build that. That's it. Don't build anything different. Loki needs Transcendence because he has a lot of mana usage. It also helps his power. So, build Transcendence. Then get Warrior Tobbies. Then get Jotuns. And this build is not flexible, okay? This is not flexible. This is like, you will build this like every game. Because... Loki's a split pusher. Loki goes up to towers, he drops his decoy, and he kills the tower. If you want, you can swap out Crusher for Hydras. Because that'll help you with your CDR, that'll just about cap it out. But, I would prefer my Lokis to have Crusher. Because I just want Loki to stay away from me and split push. That way you cap out pen without going over the cap. You get everything you need right there. Your abilities start with your two. Then get your three or your one, depending. I usually get the three. And the one, two, ult, two, two. Uh, three, ult, two, three, three. Ult, three, one, one. Ult, one, one, ult. This is your ability guide for Loki. This is your item pool. The only thing that differs is either Crusher or Hydras. Doesn't matter. Pick whatever you want in your game. If they have a lot of towers, get Crusher. If you want more CDR because you're in fights, do Hydras. Merc. Mercury Solo. Mercury Solo is annoying. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass to deal with. But... It's also not that good because of his early game. That's your start. Mercury's weird, right? Because you wouldn't usually see uh, someone building just crit in a build. However, the reason that Mercury works with full crit is because of his 2. If you want to know what his 2 does, Check that bitch out. 70% attack speed at max rank. 
That's, that's I think that's the second strongest steroid in the game. I'm pretty sure it is at least. So right after you get your warrior tabby, you'll want to finish your golden bow. And then you'll go into Deathbringer. Get Wind Demon. You can get Aussie. Or you can get Blood Forge if you're ahead. Then you will go into Titans for the most part. Yeah, I'm going off uh, build from Smite Junkies right now because I'm not positive on the mercury build i couldn't remember if you went straight into crit or if you got something else in between forgot about the golden bow but that's generally what you're going to want to be building only thing that differs is either aussie or blood forge for lifesteal aussie if you're even or behind blood forge if you're absolutely pub stomping actually aussie if you're even far ahead if you're really far ahead build blood forge but it's a whole thousand gold more so think about that Start with your one, then your three, your one, two, ult, one, one, two, one, ult. Actually, no, don't get your ult. Get that out of here. You just want one point in your ultimate. Reason being is that it only gives you damage if you level it. No point. Usually you're going to be using your ult to escape, and you really don't need the ult for damage because it'll just punch something twice and it'll die that's pretty much mercury things um also if you don't want lifesteal if you can do well without lifesteal and manage your health then you can go malice this is a disgusting build right here this is full damage you'll also sell golden bow lake actually yeah you'll have triple crit because i forgot that you sell a golden bow lake game so that's that's a mercury build uh, Neja still doesn't work. Nem still doesn't work. None of these really work. Susano. Uh, I'll say he won't work just because he's getting nerfed. And I don't think he'll be viable in solo after the nerf. Especially with the changes to Mark of the Vanguard. He will not be viable. So, that's it for your assassin builds. Uh, I'm Zephyos Vescor from Deity Gaming. Have a good day.